Hey, what's up? I'm Brianna. I know it's been a while, but happy 2020. We are back and ready. And here's your hip hop news to power on through your weekend. All right. So the top of the year, we're already having so, so much tea. Cannot believe this. So R. Kelly's girlfriends, Jocelyn and Azriel, went at each other on IG Live. And um, there was a lot of tea that was being spilled. Check this out. Rob has been lying to all of y'all. <laughs> and that's the sad part about it. That is the sad fucking part about it. He been lying to all y'all asses. Mm. And he had people like me lying for him. That's why we never watched the documentary. I wonder what this means for R. Kelly. This is pretty major. Now you're being fully put on blast and things are not looking very promising for you. Not that they weren't already. On a brighter note, good things are happening for Amanda Seals. She has a permanent co-host position on The Real and you know, last year she just dropped her book called Small Doses and she has a podcast. So let me just say, I'm excited to see what's happening for her in 2020 and she is just such a phenomenal host. Kanye West is going globally 2020 on a Sunday service. He's taking it to Europe and Africa and I just want to know your thoughts on this. Have you been to his Sunday service? Are you feeling the vibe or are you not feeling the vibe? Let me know in the comments below. Roddy Rich explained why he looks up to Young Thug and Future over Tupac and Biggie and this is interesting. I mean he did have a point. He was born in 98 after Biggie passed. So does that mean for this generation, are they the new Tupac and Biggie? Thoughts? Let me know. Lizzo's been a trending topic. I mean, everything from her outfit at the Laker game to her canceling her Twitter account, but now she's doing some really amazing things in Australia. She's volunteering at a local food bank in Australia, and this is just so incredible. There's been a lot of things happening in Australia. Everything from people dying to animals passing away to homes being gone. So seeing Lizzo going out of her way to do something so phenomenal for Australia. We love this. It was confirmed January 17th, Mac Miller's album will be dropping. His family let us know that it's going down. And I want to know though, are we expecting an album from Rihanna as well? Because I'm excited for this Mac Miller that's going down January 17th. But uh, are we gonna get Riri too? Can we just get both at around the same time? <laughs> All right, so it's 2020. This is the first month of the year. I just wanna let you know, set your intentions, positive vibes, and make sure to subscribe. All right, it's going down every single day, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Listen to myself. I'm Brianna, here's your Power On News.